Hi everyone, it's Steve Field from the Prime Safety Department. We're here with our 12th video for you. It's, it's hard to believe we've gone through now three months of making these videos. We, we appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to watch them. I think we have some good speakers today. Of course, we have Robert and Steve. Uh, we've got operations with us. We always have Dr. Abraham, and I think his information is pretty timely today because you'll see at the end, I want to talk specifically about events or the lack of events that we've been having here the last three months because it, that's disappointing to us, but it's the right thing to do. So I'm going to let the speakers get going, and I will talk to you at the end of the video. So here we go. Hello, everybody. It's good to be able to talk to you all again. Uh, you're doing a great job out there, and I want to thank you for that. You've had a few questions about us getting back together um, you know, with our events, especially. Uh, right now, we're holding off on, on scheduling any events. We know that you enjoy them. I enjoy them. I mean, I probably have more fun than anybody else, these deals. I mean, I, I truly, truly love them and getting to see everyone. Uh, you know, they're, they're pretty special the way we do it here at Prime. However, I want you safe. I want you well. I want you protected. So if we err, it's going to be on the side of caution. They'll come back, but just not right now. As, as speaking of coming back, uh, folks are going to be coming back in the office relatively soon. We're doing well, working from home, working remotely. Um, so there's no real urgency for us to come back. I know that you enjoy getting to see your fleet manager, seeing your sales coordinators and the payroll, I mean everyone, and they enjoy seeing you. Right now, it's just not possible for us to do that with everyone. You know, probably sometime after the 4th of July, we'll start bringing a percentage of our folks back in-house. Uh, so we'll get a little bit more of that. It won't be complete uh, for a while. And on a longer term, we'll likely have more people working from home over time in the future. They're going to be in here. Also, we're going to protect our company culture and the way we do things. And that uh, creativity that we get from being together, we're not going to lose that. We're not going to diminish our, our company culture. We've worked really hard on building it, and it's really part of the, the prime brand. So we're going to make those things happen. I want to mention Salt Lake City. Uh, you know, we're nearing completion out there. We're probably a month away, six weeks away, and that's going to be quite a facility. You have to get out there and see it with the gym and you know all the amenities. Uh, it's really going to be nice. We're proud of it. We're proud of uh, you know the fact that our Salt Lake City folks are going to have you know the same things that Springfield and Piston enjoy. So pretty excited about that. Again, y'all are doing a great job service is great safety is great um, you know we're winning folks we're winning so thanks again for what you do please be safe out there good morning Steve Wedke at uh, Prime here at the office just wanted to say hello to all of our wonderful drivers and uh, want to thank you very much for what you're doing things are going really well uh, on the business side I think you'll get the drift from many of our other speakers today. Overall, the reefer business is doing uh, very, very well and flatbeds hanging in there well and Tanker had a great week last week, uh, revenue wise. So, you know, whatever, whatever's going on uh, right now, it's, it's not affecting us that much on the business side. We're here today, um, you know, we do our strategic planning sessions uh, just like we do our driver advisory boards, we are generally over at uh, the Oasis in a big room kind of sharing information together. But with the, uh, the virus situation, COVID-19, we're actually downstairs in the basement. We're socially spaced and safely spaced, and we're doing this virtually. Uh, Jack Porter is out in Arizona, and we're all speaking to him, and he's speaking to us, and um, it's quite interesting. Uh, I'm just suggesting to you that it's probably one of the many changes that we'll continue to see until we get a vaccine or until things change here. Uh, overall, once again, you all are doing fantastic. Uh, our highest uh, goal, our highest calling, obviously, is your safety. 
and uh, continue to wear a face mask. I have one, it's Kansas City Chief face mask. Um, it doesn't work very well here for me, but I'm gonna continue to figure it out. And uh, I'm also sanitizing uh, as often as I can and hope you all are doing the same. Thank you very much for all you do for our company. Thanks for being safe. And believe me, we're looking forward to seeing you all face to face as soon as we possibly can. Until then, continue to do the great work. Our customers are really, really pleased with the service you're giving us. Do it safely and we'll try to do more of it. So thank you very much and, and be safe. Hey everybody, this is Jim Guthrie in the refrigerated division. Just a real quick update this week. Uh, we talked about last week and it, and it remains strong. Our, our fr freight demand is strong, so it's a great time of the year to stay out and stay available. Uh, last week we had a really, really nice week on revenue uh, results. Uh, did it almost $4,900 per truck. So uh, everybody out there, uh, you know, it's a good time to take advantage of strong freight demand. Uh, we expect that strong freight demand will continue through the end of June uh, and into July and, and uh, there's a lot of good signs in the economy overall right now so uh, just you know uh, it's a good time to, to keep yourself available, uh, stay out, uh, of course stay safe, protect yourself, stay healthy. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, plug away and, and uh, work really hard to provide service, keep you loaded and keep you moving. So uh, having a real good week this week so far. Freight looks good this week, uh, the rest of this week. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna keep it going. Um, you know, we'll, we'll uh, uh, talk to you again next week. Thank you for all you're doing. Stay safe and uh, stay healthy. Thank you. Hey Flatbed, this is Brian Brown. Just wanted to come back to you this week and give you an update on how things are going. It's a little bit windy out here, so I'll try not to be, but uh, just want to tell you that business is strong. Uh, last week we had our third best week of the year so far for 2020. Uh, things were really good the week before. We had our second, I'm sorry, third best week the week before Memorial Day. So we've been on a good, a good run here lately. Uh, there's a lot going on out there in the country as you know right now. We've got COVID to deal with and we've got some uh, unrest in some of our major cities. That's proving to be a little bit challenging right now, especially for uh, some of our shippers located in those cities uh, to get product out and you know a lot of our job sites out there are shut down right now so that's proving to be a little bit challenging in some of those areas where we normally have a lot of freight but uh, we're shifting around that trying to shift you guys away from some of those areas and uh, shift to where the freight is moving quite a bit so uh, do need you guys out there running as much as possible right now while freight is good between now and Father's Day we have coming up so uh, as much as you can be out there and, and be available. Um, again, just want to remind you guys about the heat. Um, you know, when you're out there, please stay hydrated and help each other out. If you see another prime driver at a shipper, you know, offer to help them out and maybe they'll help you out. Or if you've got a co-driver along, make sure you guys are working together to uh, tarp those loads in the heat as well. So um, again, stay safe out there. Um, we're working on a lot of things here at Prime for uh, our eventual return back to the office full-time, which could be quite a while, but we are uh, meeting today and, and the rest of this week on how we want that to look. And, you know, we know that it's important when you do come here to Prime in the future that you've got someone to interact with face-to-face. -face. That's always been our culture to be here for you guys and, and uh, to be able to meet with you in person. And we're looking at some alternative ways to do that and make sure that we keep everyone safe, safe and healthy. But just wanted to let you know that those things are being discussed as well as many other ways to keep everyone safe uh, for the duration of this crisis and leading into the fall through the winter time as we don't know what the second wave might bring. So uh, we're on top of it. We're gonna try to stay ahead of it as we always do. And uh, we're looking out for you guys um, as we always have. So appreciate you so much. Please call us if you need anything and stay safe out there. Good morning, I am Brett Von Wheeler from our tanker division here at Prime. Wanting to give you a quick update on what's going on in the tanker world. Last week, uh, revenue wise, we had our best week we've had since the COVID uh, started. And this week we're even doing better than we did last week with the balances through the rest of the week. Uh, the same were better than last week. So that's a good sign. Uh, I keep reaching out to customers on a daily basis, talking to them about what they're seeing in the future. 
um, as the convenience stores start to open again, as the fast food restaurants start to open again, their business is picking up. They see each month going through the end of the year till December actually as busier uh, and continue to get busy. So there's another good sign. Uh, one thing I want to say on safety is as the summer months are upon us, uh, please take extra precautions out there. More people are traveling by car than by plane this year. Uh, they're traveling to, to destinations down the interstates, so please watch out for those people as, as you are making your way to and from shippers and receivers. Uh, the tank washes are up and running. Uh, no problems going on there. They're business as usual. Our inedible tank wash opens in two weeks, so you will see some business over there at Prime East starting on the 23rd of this month. So uh, stop by, say hi, take a look at the new facility. Thank you again for what you all do out there and uh, look forward to seeing you here at the terminal soon. Good morning, good to see all of you again. Beautiful day here. Hope you guys are getting some good weather yourselves. A um, Couple updates, uh, still waiting on saliva test. Hope to get that next week, fingers crossed. Uh, continue to wear your mask out there. They are important. Again, we're trying to minimize the spread of our own droplets to everybody else. They're not convenient, but it's likely not going to last forever. Once we're over all this and we've got a vaccine or treatments out there, we'll be able to do away with a lot of this and life will start to get back to uh, a new normal for us. Uh, obviously, the uh, new normal currently is reducing the risk uh, with crowds. Uh, one of the biggest things we see uh, of some of the recent data is the confined spaces and the close groups where we see a lot of spread happen. Um, as you probably noticed, some of our events that we usually have every year are being cut down this year for that reason, unfortunately. But you know, I'm sure as time goes on, we'll start to see uh, some semblance of that come back. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, maintain that six-foot social distance, not gathering in big groups. Uh, you know, they may say you know you can gather in groups of ten, but where those other nine people just come from? How many groups were they with? So it starts to compound itself and you get spread. You know, I know in Missouri here, uh, ever since about mid-May, uh, mid to late May, we started seeing another uptick and a lot of that came after Easter. Now we're seeing the rise after uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, and you know, 4th of July is around the corner too. So a lot more gatherings. Try to make sure as you go into those, trying to keep your distance from one another, keep that six feet away. Uh, wash your hands. Soap and water is going to be the best thing to kill the virus. If you don't have that, use a hand sanitizer. Uh, always cough in your elbow. We're in allergy season too. Uh, you know, allergies a lot of times it's fine to take uh, Claritin, Zyrtec, or Allegra while you're on the road. Uh, they shouldn't make you as drowsy as something like Benadryl. Uh, so that might help mitigate some of those kind of symptoms and help you define whether or not you truly have some COVID type issues that you would see. Uh, outside of that, uh, you know, we continue to keep our numbers relatively low. Uh, but we are seeing a few increases here, you know, here and there just with the states as they increase. So again, if you have any questions, if you need to get tested, if you have any symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to the clinic or uh, go through Jason Seymour. He's great about getting information to us. Uh, same with the other terminals. If you guys need to get in with us, uh, contact the managers over there and have them route you this way and we'll do what we can for you. Thanks again for all you do. Hey everybody, Jason Seymour. Uh, thankfully another very short report this week there hasn't been a whole lot of activity we have done a few more tests here in Springfield thankfully they've all come back negative at this point we're still at only 20 positives in the fleet again just a remarkable remarkable number really appreciate what you do and keeping yourself safe out there just a reminder we do have good supplies in, the, in the, all three of our main locations and some of the other satellite locations we got sanitizer and masks available for you so if you need that stuff don't hesitate to stop in we are still screening and we are still requiring masks in the building when you come into one of the buildings we're going to ask you to put a mask on it's a habit for all of us that we've got to get into um, you know we realize you're going to forget just like i do sometimes and people give me a reminder so we're going to keep reminding people to wear masks we think it's an important part of our prevention strategy and keeping everybody healthy and safe um, do also want to caution you we've seen a little bit of up at, uptick in cases in some of the areas around the country. Um, so just uh, we refer you to the CDC website, cdc.gov. It's got a lot of really interesting data in there regarding some of the uh, infection rates and some of those things in the different, uh, different areas that you may go into. So uh, other than that, just appreciate all that you do. Um, stay safe and call us if you need anything.
Hey everybody, my name is John Harden. I'm with our intermodal department here at Prime Incorporated and I wanted to talk to you about some opportunities we have in our division uh, to maybe give you the opportunity to get through the house more frequently. Uh, we're currently looking for drivers in the Midwest and Southern California and a little bit about each of those regions. Uh, the Midwest, uh, we run in states of Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and a little bit of Michigan. So any of those areas could potentially work out uh, if, if it's something that you're looking to get through the house more frequently, um, depending on how close to the ramps you are uh, domiciled, uh, would determine how, how more frequently we could get you back through the house. Uh, Southern California is the Los Angeles and San Bernardino region and those drivers stay exclusively in Southern California. Um, in the winter, they may go out to the Yuma, Arizona, Arizona area as produce shifts that way. Um, but for the most part, uh, those drivers will stay in Southern California. Now, I do wanna mention that these are company positions we're, we're looking for, uh, lightweight trucks. And again, uh, the closer to the ramps that you live, uh, the more frequently we could get you home potentially. And, the best way to find out um, you know, what kind of home time you may be looking at is just to give me a call. Uh, again, my name is John Harden, and my direct line is 417-521-3977. To all of our current intermodal drivers, I wanted to say thank you for everything you've done over the past three months. Uh, you guys have truly uh, been heroes to everybody in here. Thank you for making us look good. Our customers appreciate it. We appreciate it and stay safe. Hey there, this is Chris Holtmeyer here in uh, Shops in Springfield. I just wanted to give you a, a quick update. But first and foremost, I just want to say uh, thank you for all you're doing out there, your persistence and professionalism during this whole uh, COVID outbreak. You know, it's really unprecedented. And, uh, you know, on behalf of all of our prime maintenance shops, we just want to say thank you. Uh, today I really wanted to talk mostly about uh, our capacity in the shop and what you're going to expect when you come through one of our major terminals, Springfield, Pittston, and Salt Lake City. Um, you're going to see some uh, extra people inside the, the plaza specifically. You know, we put these people in place to identify issues that we see most commonly over the road. You know, we're not trying to impede your business or, or tell you how to operate your truck. We have the, uh, the power of data and we've been able to look at trends and, and figure out the items that we see most commonly over the road and put people in place when we're filtering through the plaza to catch these. So, you know, if for some reason we do see some maintenance items on your, on your truck, uh, we're gonna do our best to accommodate you in the shop as well. As far as capacity in our shops right now, we have plenty of capacity. In most cases, we're uh, either bringing people up and working them outside the, the shop uh, pulling inside of a bay immediately or we're scheduling you know 10 to 12 hours out um, you know that's that's the the biggest things I wanted to cover once again on behalf of the the prime shops thank you and we hope to see you soon well there you have it that was our 12th video and you know, we do appreciate you tuning in and watching these we're we're doing our very best to get information out we dearly miss those Friday morning safety meetings I do want to go back just for a minute and talk again about all the events that we've had to postpone this year and it it literally started in March the very first day that we realized this was a serious situation uh, we had the instructor banquet planned for that night and instructors are so important to us and we had to postpone it and then we ultimately had to go with a virtual banquet for the instructors but these events are big deals and we know that and when you look at our bingo hall and the picnic there's probably a thousand people in there playing bingo and and we heard from dr. a that that's just not the safest thing to do right now and COVID-19 is not going to last forever you've heard about the, uh, the, the vaccine probably coming the the herd mentality that will gradually take it away from us and we're going to get back to what I believe will be very similar to the events we've had in the past but you know these events we have for a reason and the reason we have them is to honor look at who we're honoring our instructors our million mile drivers our female drivers with the highway diamonds it just goes on and on and we so look forward to each one so I don't want anyone to think these events are not coming back you heard it from Robert you heard from Dr. A why we have delayed them, but they'll be back and we enjoy doing them. We enjoy seeing you in an informal surrounding like that. And sometimes we hear from other folks, well, well, how can you have an open bar in an event like that? Well, the reason we can have it is 
we're adults, we treat you as an adult. And it's just the right thing to do to let everyone unwind a little bit with those events. And we'll be back with them. And next week we'll be back with another video. Andrea and I are working on a few ideas and, and we'll probably have another sit down with Robert and Steve and some of the other managers here in the next couple weeks and, and do one of those again. I don't want anyone to lose faith out there. This has been a challenging, challenging year. We've just had so much thrown at us in one year, and no matter what we're dealing with here, it, it just is nothing compared to what you deal with on the road. But your numbers have been fantastic safety-wise, service-wise, you're just knocking it out of the park, so don't give up. This is a temporary situation, and with all events like this, Prime will come out stronger than we went in. And not everyone is gonna come out of the end of this. There will be some folks that don't make it, some trucking companies that don't make it, but we're gonna come through it, we're gonna come through stronger, and that's because of all of you. So again, thank you for everything that you're doing out there, and let's continue to stay safe, and we'll talk to you again next week.